Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Fast Pace Tutorials. In this video, we're going to connect our AWS VPC to our Azure Virtual Network. The scenario here is that we have an Amazon EC2 instance, uh, which is a database server of some sort, and this virtual machine doesn't have a public IP address. On the other side, we have a virtual machine in Azure, which is a web server maybe, and requires access to our database server, the Amazon EC2 instance. And the way we're going to solve this problem is to create something called a site-to-site -site VPN between AWS and Azure. In order to create the site-to-site -site VPN, we need to um, create a whole bunch of resources in Microsoft Azure and AWS. But the very first thing that we need to create is called a virtual network gateway. Now here I am in my Microsoft Azure account. As you can see, I have a resource group called VNet to VPC. And in this resource group, I have a virtual network created and a virtual machine called web server. As I said, I have to create a virtual network gateway. So let's click on create here, search for virtual network gateway. And then here we can create one. A virtual network gateway is actually a set of virtual machines that are deployed to a specific subnet of our virtual network called gateway subnet. And uh, virtual network gateway VMs contain routing tables and they run a specific gateway services in order for you to establish connectivity with another environment, being your on-prem or another cloud uh, um, environment like AWS. Now let's give it a name. East US is fine. Gateway type is obviously VPN. Route base is okay. SKU and generation I'm not going to touch. But if you want to know more about different SKUs and different capabilities, you can just click on this link here and read more about your options. Then we have to select our virtual network. As I said, uh, a gateway, uh, sorry, a subnet called gateway subnet will be created for you. You don't need to create it in advance. And then uh, we would require a public IP address for the gateway. I don't have one, so I'm going to create a new one here. Let's give it a name. And then I'm not going to touch the rest of the options. Click review and create and create. Creating a virtual network gateway in, uh, uh, in Azure is going to take like roughly four to five minutes. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back when the resource is created. Okay, now the resource is created. We can go to the landing page of our virtual network gateway and what we need is the public IP address, which is this one. I'm gonna copy this IP address and head back to AWS. The first thing that we need to create in AWS is called a customer gateway. So I scroll down under VPN, click on customer gateway, and let's create one. As usual, we give it a name. A static routing is fine, and then the IP address is the one we copied from Azure. I'm not gonna touch the rest. Create customer gateway. Okay, now after that, we need to create a virtual private gateway. Let's create one. Creating one is super easy. Just give it a name. And that's it. As you can see, the state of this uh, gateway is detached. What we need to do is to attach it to our VPC. Select our VPC, attach. And it will take a little while, but doesn't matter. We can continue. Okay, oh, actually, it didn't take much. Uh, let's go and create a site-to-site -site VPN, VPN connection now. We're gonna call it VPN, and then select our virtual private gateway. We do have a customer gateway already created, so we're gonna select that and then routing option static 
and here we have to put the IP CIDR block of our uh, virtual network in Azure which is going to be 10.0.0.0 slash 16 and for local IPv4 and remote IPv4 um, it's a little bit tricky and somewhat confusing because the local IPv4 network CIDR is actually our Microsoft Azure virtual network CIDR IP, IP CIDR range which is again 10.0.0.0 slash 16 and remote IPv4 network CIDR is our AWS VPC IP CIDR block which is in our case 192.168.0.0 slash 16 I'm not going to touch the tunnel options so let's go and create the VPN connection Creating a VPN connection is going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video and come back when the state is changed to available. All right, we have the VPN created. Let's go to tunnel details. As you can see, we have two tunnels and both of them are down. Now we need to do, well, sorry, well, again, now what we need to do is to copy this IP address and then head back to Microsoft Azure to create a couple of other resources. The first thing we need to create here is called a local network gateway. So let's wait for it to load and then create a local network gateway. Okay. The local network gateway actually represents AWS location for our routing purposes. So we create one and it's super easy as you saw. Now we need to add a connection. For adding a connection we need something called shared key which we can, we can get from our AWS environment. So select the VPN, click on download configuration here, I will select generic for the vendor and it doesn't really matter. It's uh, it's going to download a text file. I'm going to open the text file and look for the pre-shared key, which is this one. Just copy it, go back to Microsoft Azure, and here we just paste it. Obviously, we need to give a name. Let's call it connection one and select our virtual network gateway. This is the first thing we created in Azure, as you remember. And then the local network gateway is already selected for us. Uh, the rest is good. I'm not going to touch anything. Let's just click on OK. And the connection will be created for us. The creating the connection itself is not a time consuming thing. It will take like 30 seconds tops. But then establishing connection between Azure and AWS will take a little while. As you can see, it says, it says updating right now. Uh, but it takes like five, six minutes to uh, change to connect it. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. As you can see now, it is connected. And if we go back to AWS, we can see that the state of the tunnel is up, meaning the connect connectivity is established between Azure and AWS. Now, the one last thing we need to do to make sure we can access our EC2 instance from Azure is to go back to AWS and update the route table associated to the subnet that the EC2 is uh, hosted in. So let's go to the route tables. Actually, let's go take a look at subnets. Here we have one subnet. Uh, and if we click on the subnet ID, we can see the details here. And we can see on the route table that there is a route table already associated to the subnet. I'm going to click on it. And here, click on Edit Route. We have only one created here. We're going to add another one. Destination is obviously Microsoft Azure. So uh, the IP CIDR block of our virtual network, 10.0.0.0 slash 16. And then the target is going to be our virtual private gateway. Let's select it here and save. Okay, great. Now I can RDP to my virtual machine in Azure and then from there 
RDP to my EC2 instance in AWS. This is the EC2 instance. I'm going to copy the private IP address of this virtual machine. And as you can see here, it doesn't have a public IP address. I'm going to head back to Microsoft Azure. Uh, go to my virtual machine in Azure and then copy the public IP address of this virtual machine so I can RDP to it. And then I'm going to connect to my virtual network, virtual machine, sorry, using remote desktop. Okay, here I am in my virtual machine in Azure. Now, in order for me to be able to RDP to my EC2 instance in AWS, I need to do one last thing and that's uh, updating the security group of the EC2. So if I go here, click on security, there is one security group already attached to my EC2 instance. I'm gonna click on it and then edit inbound rules. I'm gonna add one rule. Since we didn't have anything, I'm gonna search for RDP, yes. And then the source is going to be my Microsoft Azure virtual network. So again, 10.0.0.0 slash 16, and then save. Great. Now I can go back to my virtual machine in Azure, and from here, try to connect to my EC2 instance in AWS, using the private IP address, obviously that is. I'm gonna paste, click on connect, and here we go. It's asking for username and password. So the username is administrator. I'm gonna type it here. And then I'm going to copy and paste the password. Okay. And as you can see, I was able to connect to the EC2 instance in AWS over site-to-site -site VPN. That's it. I hope you learned something new today.